Today, we're gonna leave things up to chance and we're gonna use either a coin or a little round piece of wood, place our Sharpie or black crown behind it and start at the edge and nudge it. The coin or the circle will kind of make some decisions about where to go as you nudge it and your job is to push behind slowly with your Sharpie or black crayon until you get to the edge and you will stop and then you will pick it up once more and you will begin to nudge it again. It will cross paths with your line from before and that was my second line and then I just pick it up once it goes to the edge of the paper again and start at a new edge where I think it can use some more exciting organic line. That one went more directly across. Maybe I need to slow it down. And this will be line number four. Four or five lines work well for the size that we are doing today. All right, so that finished. And now I have some really cool organic lines. The same way that water flows or winds push, our lines were created kind of naturally. And so they are organic. They are not straight. They were not made with a ruler. Then you get your water, you wet your brush, and you choose your favorite color and your favorite shape, and you use the tip of the bristles of your brush. Like a ballerina is on their tippy toes, brush slowly inside of your shape. start on the edges and then pull the color into the middle of the shape. To, uh, out in the points, I use the tippy tip of my brush. In between colors, I bump inside and scrape on the lip. Time for a new color. I like that green. And the next space you can color should not be touching that color except for the corner. So find a new organic shape where you can touch only the corner of the last thing you painted. And then you'll use the tip of your brush to fill in the nooks and crannies. And then you can press your bush, brush a little bit further while you fill out the middle of a shape. So there I am using the, the body of the brush a little bit more to fill in that larger shape with the color. I bump my brush in the water and scrape on the lip to get it clean and do a new color. Touching the corner of that one, filling the edges, letting the brush delicately dance and push into the shape. Being very slow, pulling the brush towards me and then filling it in lightly and gracefully with the brush. And now I'm gonna fast forward and show you that we painted in only shapes where the corners were touching. And it is going fast, but this is where we're going to leave it today.